so forgive us. We're going to do this in parts because this went on for uh, a long time, but I'm going to let him speak. This is Bear, an American Californian uh, firefighter uh, visiting Brazil, talking about the Zeitgeist movement with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess what br what brings me to I don't know. I mean, you you're interviewing me because my handle on the on Skype is the Zeitgeist 057, and I like I was telling you, I chose that just because I like that idea. I like the idea of being um, part of the times, being in the flow of, of energy, and and in sync and in tune with not only those people around me, but also with myself. And um, I don't know, I've, I've been always been somewhat of a rebel, I guess, against the, the popular culture. But at the same time, I think it's important to be aware of it. Oh, yeah. And because I think the people who are against the popular culture are the ones who are the ones instigating change, because they see not just what is, but what can be. If that makes sense. Oh, it makes so much sense. He's right on. <laughs> and uh, I got so excited that I... Um, I started, I guess, about seven years ago, fighting fire for the U.S. Forest Service. And all summer, they, they generally in California, there's a lot of fires going on all summer. Yeah. So... Just work hard and go off forest and end up in a camp somewhere or on top of a mountain. We generally work somewhere between 14 and 16 hour shifts and then uh, sleep for eight hours and then start another one. And it's a great it's a great job because it keeps me healthy. Um, I get to travel around the country. I work with hardworking people and. Um, it's very challenging, both physically, mentally, um, and emotionally. You know, dealing with with people in stressful environments, and uh, it's good. It's a good skill builder. I love it. The money's not bad either. It affords me to be able to leave in the winter, and I've traveled all over different parts of the world: uh, Africa and South America, Thailand, or other parts of Southeast Asia. So he gets uh, around, and it's good. Very good. It is good. He's an international no, body. On page, um, I saw that it's a philosophical movement, uh, people wanting to be part of a group that's actually doing something, um, you know, instead of running around like chickens with their heads cut off, uh, like humans are so want to do. Um, which, you know, I didn't actually get to read too much into the philosophy because I just skimmed through it to kind of find out who was interviewing me. But um, he will. I know But. <laughs> I was so excited to to meet him, and it was such a, a spontaneous, absolute yes. We'll carry on. We'll carry on in just a moment with part three.